delish. And this is very, very hot, but of course it will set a little more once you let it cool. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto low carb green bean casserole. So this is one of my favorite sides. I'm absolutely obsessed with this dish during Thanksgiving, during Christmas time, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. Um, it's super, super, su I have pelos in my mouth. Sorry. It's super, super simple. I'm obsessed with it and I know you guys will be too. So let me go over the ingredients um, because a lot of you might want to think like, oh, I'm just going to buy mushroom soup. Well, mushroom soup has like 25 grams of carbs per half cup. So what we're using here is our kettle and fire mushroom bisque and I'll show you a photo here so you can see what it looks like. I also do have a discount code which is low carb love which will give you a 15% discount on your order. So. Mushroom bisque is what we're using here. If you want to make it from scratch, um, that's a different recipe, but this is super simple. You buy it and then just pour it out. So it's already ready to go. And of course it's made with bone broth. So it's super nutritious, super nutrient dense. And um, yeah, it's super healthy for our gut. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to scoot this over so that you guys can take a look at what we are using. So we are starting off with these green beans that are trimmed and cleaned already for us. I usually try to go the easy route guys because I don't like to make my life more stressful and like having to, you know, like trim every single green bean, things like that. So this is a simple, quick little uh, bag that is one pound, okay? So we are going to open this up. Then really quickly, I'll go over these little fried onions. So these are also from Traders. These have three carbs per two tablespoons. So you can see there, three carbs for the two tablespoons. Okay, so of course this is totally optional. If you don't wanna use them, you don't have to, but I personally think that it gives it that like, just that extra touch, you know? And it makes it, in my opinion, taste better than the real deal, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is pour, we are going to pour our green beans that are already washed and trimmed right into our bowl, into our baking dish. Okay, so these fried onions, they are pretty low carb, but of course, if you're looking for a keto friendly version or option, I will leave a super simple recipe down in the description below. If you guys don't know, there's a little button down there that says more, and then it drops down the entire description um, section, which I have the recipe in there and I have links and everything so you guys can know exactly what I used. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, so I leave everything in the description below so that you guys know everything that I use. I put additional recipes that I think will be, that will go along with this dish, things of that nature. So always make sure that you do click on the description below. Okay. Now moving forward, let's go ahead. And, um, so these are really big. I mean, if you like your green beans to be like this big for your casserole, oh, if I can hold it up. Then, <laughs> then you can totally leave them. But um, personally, I think that they are a little big. So I didn't want to have to trim them, but you know what? I think we just might have to because, I mean, you can totally use scissors. I usually like using scissors because it's like easy. We'll just cut them in threes. But here we are. Because you don't want like a huge, you know, this is gonna take longer. I should have just used my knife, but anyway, you know. Okay, so I went ahead and just, you know, roughly chopped them up with my little scissors. And now you can see that they are like, in my opinion, a good size, like biteable pieces. You know, the other way it was like, they were just way too big. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour everything right into our green beans. So here we have our mushroom bisque and we're just going to pour that right over. There is our oven. 
It is preheated, ready to go. Okay, and now we add our heavy cream. Okay, so let's go ahead and I just have a block of cheese. I don't have my pre-shredded cheese right now. Um, so a lot of people have an opinion regarding shredded cheese. And I totally respect that, it is true. Um, so the pre-shredded cheeses have, um, they have starches, some type of binding, um, I mean a, yeah, it's some type of starch so that it doesn't stick. So this here does not at all. So a lot of people prefer to do, you know, just to grade their own cheeses. The only thing is that, of course, it's just more work, but if you wanna be super clean, then you grade your cheese, okay? So this is a sharp cheddar. Of course, you can use whatever you have on hand or your favorite, but this is gonna give it that kick that is needed for this recipe, in my opinion. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to use our salt. This is our real salt. If you guys um, don't already use this, oh, I have a little piece of cheese on me. If you don't already use uh, the real salt, then it's also in the description below. And I do have a discount code as well, which is low carb love. And now we're just gonna do a little salt. This is really just salt to taste, pepper to taste as well. If you want a measurement, I would start off with a quarter teaspoon of salt and about an eighth teaspoon of pepper. So we have our half cup measuring cup. I'm making a mess here. Okay, so that's a little bit more than a cup, half cup. But um, again, this is your casserole. So you are just going to um, add as much as you, you know, as you want. So now that we have that all in, let's go ahead and mix everything together. You wanna taste the sauce to make sure that it is, you know, it has enough flavor and enough salt. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon. So this is just the one from Traders. Um, and we're just gonna sprinkle some on top. I would say I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon. Okay, let's mix that up and then give it a taste. And like I said, I will include the uh, recipe down below. So don't worry about that, but just so you guys know what I'm doing along the way, okay? Can I try this? What? No, this is raw. <laughs> what are you eating raw? Uh, uh, guys, beans? he's trying. Donnie is trying to eat the raw green Come beans. Come on, right you can now. eat raw green beans. This stuff is so good. <laughs> that... Don, if you eat that, you go, go for it. Mmm. <laughs> Why cook them? <laughs> this is nasty. No, they're awesome. <laughs> I can't with you. Well, luckily, our obviously our sauce tastes good. Oh yeah, this tastes good. <laughs> I was like, he's lying. No, it tastes good already. Um, bye. Donnie's gonna go take care of some business. So, okay. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is, um, so you always want to make sure that. your sauce tastes good because guys like you always have to taste your food before you bake it because if you don't like it now you're not gonna like it when it comes out sometimes it might need a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt a little bit of something okay so what we're gonna do here is um, before we add before we add our fried onions or any more cheese we're actually gonna bake this for 25 minutes at 350 degrees so of course make sure that your oven is preheated and once it's done, I will show you how we finish this off. And it's gonna be so perfect. So get ready, guys. Okie dokie, so here goes our green bean casserole right into the oven, 350 degrees, and we will check back in 20 minutes. So here is our green bean casserole looking delish. Look at that. Yummy. So we're just doing a little mix. This. Yum, yum, yum. Deliciousness. So let's go ahead and add our, we have our little fried onions here. I'm going the easy route, but 
in the description below, I have a super quick recipe for you guys. And this here, it's really just going to be to taste, right? So we're just gonna do a little bomb, bomb, bomb. Look at that. Yes, girl. Whee! And you can add, if you wanted to add a little bit of anything on top, cheese or anything like that to your liking, then of course you do that. But if you don't, you know, if you're going to meal prep this, um, because of course this dish is perfect for meal prepping, if you want to do that, then do not put your little onions on top. You could just put them on a side, like in a little side dish. And then when you're ready to eat, then you add them. But guys, this is all done. Done, done, done. Ready? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and serve. Wow. Delish. And this is very, very hot, but of course it will set a little more once you let it cool. Perfect. Then you can even top it off with a little more if you'd like. Just, if you want the crunch, because sometimes they get a little softies in there. This here, guys, is perfection. So let's go ahead and dig in for the taste test. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys. Take a look at this deliciousness right now. You guys have to make this. Mm. So good. So delicious. You guys are gonna love. Hands down, bomb, bomb, bomb. Low carb, keto friendly, green bean casserole. It's so hot. Mmm. And if you want it to thicken up, just let it sit for a little bit. You can add a little bit of xanthan gum, but it will think it thicken up enough if you just let it sit for a bit. As you can see, it's already thickening just by, it's not, like it's more of a sauce, like a gravy. It's not liquidy. So that's what you want. Perfect. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Green bean casserole, low carb, keto friendly. Even if you're not low carb or keto, you are going to love this. And of course, it makes it even better that it's low in carbs. Make sure that you tag me on Instagram so that I can share your recreations. I love watching you guys remake my recipes. So yeah, make sure that you do tag me, low carb love. And of course, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.